When using FME SQL Server Writers, committing each feature one row at a time means a lot of server transactions, and inserting this way can be very slow. You can greatly speed up the time this takes using the new bulk insert parameter. Writing data to a non-Azure database will generally become 6 to 10 times faster, and writing to Azure can be more than 300 times faster. All you need to do is set a flag on the writer. Just how fast is it? Let's run a workspace and see. I have a workspace here that will write multiple geometry features to a database. I'll start with the bulk insert flag set to no, so we can see how long it takes the workspace to run by committing the features row by row. You might be wondering why you would ever not want to do a bulk insert if setting the flag to yes is so much faster. The risk worth noting is that if one of the rows has an issue in a bulk insert, the entire transaction needs to be rerun. FME will validate individual features, but if all features pass FME's validation but something fails when it gets to the server, then all of the rows we've tried to bulk insert will fail. A constraint violation is a good example of a failure that wouldn't be caught until the transaction reaches the server. And in this case, we wouldn't be able to tell which row caused the problem. You can see here that this translation took a minute 14 seconds, which is pretty slow. Now let's set the bulk insert flag to yes. Note that larger transaction sizes will also mean a faster insert. The transaction size can be set in this parameter. Our translation is already finished, and that time looks much better at only 14 seconds. Let's have a look at the time difference when we write to Azure. This source data set has 300,000 features, but I capped it at 3,000. So to insert 3,000 rows of non-spatial data one at a time, It takes us nearly 10 minutes. Now, with bulk insert on, it's done in a matter of seconds.